and over again. Before 1967, the mainline Protestant denominations in America were Israel's best friends. Today, two generations later, to the extent the mainline denominations act corporately as denominations in the Middle East, it's not to divest from Iran, it's to divest from Israel. And it worked with the mainline Protestants. Now the same tactics are being used against the evangelical community, the most pro-Israel community in America for now. And what they've done, they've been trying for years. Guys like Jim Wallace, Tony Campalo, they've been trying for years to drive a wedge between America's evangelicals and Israel. They never got anywhere. Now they've found the soft underbelly of the evangelical community, and that is the young evangelicals, the millennial evangelicals. These are folks who have the best of intentions. They want to they imitate Jesus. They want to stand with the poor and the oppressed and the downtrodden. Mm -hmm. And now come into the picture lots of folks with lots of money ready to tell them when it comes to the Middle East, the Palestinians are the oppressed, the Israelis are the oppressors, okay. stand with the Palestinians. First, before we go into um, what they're doing and how they're selling this, let me go into who is doing it. Well, this you, is, you, I have you, something of the Telos group. Yeah. You might not be surprised, Glenn, that uh, our friend George Soros nope. is behind uh, the Telos group. Yeah. Um, according to uh, NGO Monitor, uh, based in Israel, Half of the funds of the Telos Group have come from the Foundation for Open Society, hmm. a Soros uh, yep, front group. Yep, yep. And what Telos does, and again, this is, this is not your parents' anti-Israel organization. These guys are savvy and these guys are smart. Telos, if you go to their website, they say, we are pro-Israeli, we are pro-Palestinians, we're pro-America, and we're pro-peace. They love everybody. Right. They bring every year 15 groups of young Christian evangelical influencers mm. to Israel and Palestine, people mm -hmm. who have followings. And I've seen the itinerary of the trip on which they bring them, and it's pure genius. They go to both Israel and Palestine. They meet with both Jews and Palestinians, Christian and Muslim. And they walk away believing deeply that Israel is the source of all Arab and Palestinian suffering. Because every Palestinian they meet with, Christian and Muslim, is terribly anti-Israel. The Jews they meet with, because Israel is in fact an open society, are Jewish critics of the state of Israel. They share the Palestinian view that Israel's to blame for all the problems okay. in the region. Let me take a quick break, come back with John, and John, you address, um, you address why this is absolutely wrong. All right. Back in a second.